needed to get the snow churned. We we're breaking up the molecules, making them smaller, making them stick to each other a little better. So Marquette County is just filled with uh, people that have a ton of passion for what they do. You've got some, some whack jobs out there. Oh, that looks delicious. You know, that just don't know when to say when. And they just keep pushing the envelope and pushing the envelope. And they're not gonna stop. Time to go grooming. Trust me, I'm a doctor. <laughs> Old Old was the, the catalyst that started this, this craziness has pushed us to the next level on equipment, on innovation, on snow bike trails. Closing in on probably 80 miles of single track, uh, I think we proved to ourselves and others that uh, this is a viable sport. We're like really excited to keep going and keep adding on to, you know, the, the system here in Marquette County. Let me get my black tooth. Hey, Mike Renette here with the No Cayman on Trail Network. Today we're gonna to look at some of our SBR implements. This, is how we get it done. this, is how we this by far is our workhorse. 90% of our grooming is done with this. This is a fairly traditional cross-country ski drag just made much narrower for, for skinny trails. So, uh, what we got here are cutters, these big pink plates. They're about half inch thick plate that rolls the snow over. As it goes underneath here, it gets kind of pushed down, packed and evened out with the pan and then through the comb, which puts down your, your pretty corduroy trail that we all enjoy riding so much. This is how we do it, do it. This is how we keep This it is putting out about a 27 inch wide trail. You, you tend to carry a little bit more speed in our system. And having the extra width, I think, helps out a lot. And even though they're fat tires, it doesn't mean you're necessarily going to be able to ride any given time of the day, or especially after storms. On and on and on we go. So what we got here is your uh, now traditional V plow. This uh, this is going to open up your trail quickly once you have a firm packed down trail system. The V plow is just going to simply remove light, fluffy snow off of the trail. And what we did is took a four-wheeler plow, cut it in half, welded on this disc here with multiple attachments, and then added this, this packer to it. So just some lawn tractor wheels, um, trailer jack that raises and lowers the wheels, which raises and lowers the plow in return. So, and you can finally tune it. We have to go through berms. We can raise the plow so it's not digging into the edge where you're trying to ride. So that brings us to our latest contraption, tiller time. We, uh, we wanted to break the snow crystal down much faster, so we looked into kind of all the options out there for tillers, and again, didn't really see anything, so back to the drawing board. Came across an uh, ATV tiller that's towed behind an ATV. Uh, actually cut the tines narrower replace the cultipacker that comes with it with a with a big metal pan again uh, YTS comb underneath that so yeah the tiller is just it's a fascinating uh, proposition here like is this gonna be the future um, I don't know we're gonna give it a shot I like snow biking, probably as good as anything. Uh, just something special about riding outside in the wintertime, you know. You know, some people get cabin fever, you know, sad seasonal affective disorder, low light syndrome, you know. I get fat tire fever. <laughs> Marquette single track, it's what we're about. But hikers, bikers, dog walkers, the more time you spend out here, you know, less time you spend on Prozac. Trust me, I'm a doctor. <laughs> uh, 
this whole north side has been groomed by hand uh, up until this year. And then we just got the little track sled. The track is only 15 inches wide. It's a really narrow, single tracky kind of trail. Yeah, it weighs 150 pounds. The track on it is 15 inches wide. The platform on the back that you stand on is about 19 inches wide. And it's still a little bit of hand work. Well, when you retire, you know, you need something to keep you out of the bars during the daytime, you know. Very addictive. Working on trails is another positive addiction. So we're out on the Range Area Mountain Bike Association, also known as Ramba. This is the snow bike trail, which is uh, the SBT. There's a two track system here, so we run a 10 mile loop with a 36 inch snowmobile dragged. But this year what we did is we introduced what's called the SBT single track. This offers more of a natural mountain bike challenge for us. So instead of the 36 inch drag that we're pulling, we're pulling more of a, well in this case, a 15 inch tire. Today we're riding the, the Rocon Trailbreaker, but we call it the Rambacon. Uh, Rambacon two-wheel drive system. She's an animal. We're not looking for a perfect set track on our single track because we want that challenge. We want that uh, compactness to be right down the center of the trail, which is what the Rocon is doing essentially with these big tires. Grooming, I do it for the fat bikers, but it's just another way for me to get out and enjoy this stuff. I mean, winter doesn't get any more beautiful than that. I mean, look at it, surrounded by paradise. <laughs> 